What's up guys and welcome. You're watching Fuzzy Fitness. So let's start today's video with William Bonac who's making his comeback to the bodybuilding stage. And this could very well be his last competition. This could very well be the last time we are gonna see him on the bodybuilding stage. Because as he gets older, he is gonna lose his weight taper as it is apparent from these pictures as well. He isn't the same as he was in his prime. His strength was never flow, it was never statics. His strength was always having those incredible round muscle valleys, that dense look, that old man muscle maturity. Along with that, he always brought that crazy dry and hot conditioning on the stage. So he won two Arnold Flossick titles, denying Dexter Jackson the title twice. And Dexter, as we all know, was one of the most conditioned bodybuilders up until his retirement. So the reason William's placing has been going downhill is due to the fact that he has been getting blockier over the years, as he pursued for more muscle and as he got older. So William Bonac also hinted about retirement in an interview after the Orange Classic 2023, where he wasn't even able to place top 6, and many of the former bodybuilders advised him the same, go out while your health is still intact. So William Bonac is working with Stefan for 2024, hoping to win another pro show and qualify for the Olympia, and say goodbye to the sport of bodybuilding on the grand stage. Sean Pearson continues to get bigger, yet he has been managing to maintain a great off-season condition. So after becoming the 212 Mr. Olympia champion, Kion's confidence is absolutely sky high. The judges are preferring shape over sheer mass now. Not saying that Sean Clarita doesn't have good aesthetics, I'm not saying he doesn't have good shape. But Kion Pearson just has that kind of structure that can just outclass anyone. And that is what happened at the Olympia last year. Kion just outclassed Sean Clarita in the aesthetics department. And the reason is, we all know he has one of the best genetics. He has one of the best shapes across any division in the IFB Pro League. So the question is, can Sean come in better and beat Kion in 2024? I have to say it is going to be extremely hot. Not impossible, but very hot. Because Sean is just maxed out. We know he tried to get bigger, but he kind of lost his overall flow at the Olympia this past year. All he can do is come in down sight, the way he did in 2022. Bring a tighter mirror section and hope that the judges incline towards him. Kion Pearson on the other hand is so young and he still has so much room to grow. He can make tremendous improvements in his back shorts and shut the door for everyone. Not just this year but for the foreseeable future I have to say. So if Kion is able to defend his title in 2024, it is gonna get nearly impossible for Sean or for anyone else for that matter to get him in 2025. Because Sean will be turning 43. And there isn't anyone in the 212 as of right now who can actually challenge Kion. So is everyone counting out John Del Rosa for this upcoming Arnold? He has got plenty of size, and the closer he gets to getting to that stage ready conditioning, his flow is getting more and more impressive. He has that old man muscle maturity, he has that dense look to his physique, and many people don't realize that John might be the most experienced guy in the entire IVB Pro League, especially in this year's Arnold Classic lineup. He has been a pro for more than a decade now, so that's 10 years plus experience, especially in comparisons to guys like Harsemdi, Rafael Brandao, James Hollingshead and Antoine. But here is another factor. He is a short-hearted guy, but so is Hadi Chupan. Now I'm not comparing these two guys, I'm just saying that both of them are short guys. So if John comes in the way he did at Tempo Pro 2023, with a bit more mass, he is gonna be really hard to ignore, not only by the judges but by the fans as well. But then again, he is one of those guys who just cannot afford to miss his mark even by a little bit. Because if he does, he goes out of top 6 right away. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.